this is a very like a summary of quit my job yeah went into modeling and dance how, and how did you get into modeling i had a three months notice period at my old job and i had no backup i was like i'm done i need to leave and on my last day like let me let me apply to this agency and then Tika, can you come in tomorrow i was like what and then we we went to world of dance competition we represented we won that in london and represented the uk for the finals which was in la nice. yeah which was like so cool and just something that we were just like what like, what is happening like you know i guess the like the underdog story of like who are they <laughs> you know you were doing modeling yeah and you were dancing yeah and then who beat you and said like you know go do acting you need more rejection in your life <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's just so true isn't it do you have any, <laughs> any funny stories about some ridiculous casting one of my first ones i remember i had to uh, imagine that i was the tentacle a tentacle of an octopus i think i started to do it more i think like at first when i <laughs> just started watching myself on tape mm. Oh my god. Maybe there's a bit a little bit in me that's like oh maybe one day somebody will say you're fucking amazing. Mm. You know? So maybe that's the little narcissistic bit of yeah. like unconscious subconsciously wanting someone to be like sorry you in the back <laughs> mm -hmm. come to the front because yeah, you're incredible. Yeah. 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 So yeah. maybe that's part of for me. Hi, I'm Andre Rogozin and this is Beyond Real Talk, a podcast where I invite real entertainment industry professionals and ask them real questions. What are they actually doing? Why are they doing it? How are they doing it? And how can you start doing the same thing? And my guest today is my friend from Working Actors Studio, a dancer, a model, an actress, Tamika Thompson. Hi, Tamika. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you for having me here. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> I haven't seen you since last year, I think. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, because, you know, I'm not going to work in Artist Studio this year yet because I'm doing this and I don't have time and money. <laughs> fair. It's very fair, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, as always, with all my guests, we'll talk about everything, but we'll start in the very beginning. Okay. How, where did you grow up and what pushed you to this creative path and how? Ooh, um, <clears throat> that's a good question. Um, Only good questions in this podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was born in the UK, in the Midlands. Mm. And then when I was four, I moved to the States. In the States, I was like super academic. Like, where exactly? Florida. Florida. Yeah, the crazy state. Um, <laughs> I was like super academic, like, oh, I, I was good at studying, I enjoyed it, probably just something that I could control, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and then the idea was to move back to the UK, mm -hmm. try and get into Cambridge. I had my two interviews, but didn't get in. So then I went to Warwick Uni, studied sociology specialized in research. See, I was very like <laughs> academic at this point. Mm -hmm. um, and then moved to London, worked for uh, like a market research agency. And at the same time, I, or like, I guess at uni, I kind of discovered dance mm -hmm. a bit more. My mom was a dancer, my dad was a dancer, mm. but it wasn't growing up. I wasn't really, they had retired at that point, like from dancing. So it wasn't like necessarily second nature, but it's always been in the family and in the blood. Mm. And they, they, they dance professionally. Yeah. So yeah. my dad, I only found out recently, actually, that oh, really? my dad, yeah, <laughs> um, he used to tour with his like group, his dance group. Um, I didn't know until like literally a few months ago. Mm. So yeah, that's, um, it's always been in the family. <laughs> and my mom was, um, she used to teach jazz mm -hmm. and then she did aerobics and stuff as well. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so she's also a musician, or ju uh, jazz dance, or jazz, you know, music uh, playing music. Jazz, yeah. So jazz music, like jazz as in a style of dance. Okay. But she also used to be the bassist in a band with her 
ex-husband who's not my dad it was like before she mm -hmm. met my dad um and she's a good singer so like music is definitely in my family mm -hmm. and um but for some reason when i was growing up i was like i just want to study <laughs> <laughs> i was like yeah. the black sheep <laughs> and then at mm. uni i just had all these options like ah oh, there's the salsa society there's hip-hop there's this classical and modern dance and so i was just like okay i'm gonna do all of that mm -hmm. And then whilst I was working, I guess, corporate, um, I, yeah, I, in my spare time, I was dancing a lot. And then I joined uh, like a hip hop street dance crew that was kicking off. And I think that's when I started to tap into like a bit more creativity. Mm -hmm. um, this is a very, like a summary of quit my job, yeah. went into modeling and dance. How, and how did you get into modeling? So somebody at the dance studio that I was dancing mm -hmm. at was like, oh, have you ever considered modeling? Mm -hmm. And at the time I was like, no, absolutely not. Like that's not in my head, like it's just not my thing. Like I don't, you know. Um, but then I also just kind of saw it as like a ticket out of my job, like the current job that I had. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, well, why not? And so I kind of, I... I applied to like a talent agency that had like models and actors and dancers. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of how I transitioned. Yeah. Was it easy then, to get in there? So <laughs> I don't want to say it just, I don't know what happened. Okay. It was 2018. I remember very clearly I had a three months notice period at my old job and I had no backup. I was like, I'm done, I need to leave. And on my last day, like, let me let me apply to this agency. And then, Tika, can you come in tomorrow? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Um, and then, yeah, went in mm. and then got a contract, spent a few days looking over it and then signed. And then, mm. yeah, that was that. And what, what happened next with it? Like, did, how, how quickly did you get any kind of modeling jobs? I think I, I signed in October 2018 and I think I got my first modeling job, was it December or January mm -hmm. of the next year? So a few months. Yeah. Um, and I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> no clue. What, what were you I... doing? <laughs> it was for a, um, a knitting company. They're so lovely. Uh, it's called Pom Pom Magazine. And um, yeah, just like knitwear. And um, but I had no. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Was it was it's it just, photo modeling? Yeah. So um, for their, they had like catalog or something. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. So one of their issues. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, like how quickly did like how like what right now mm -hmm. uh, since you started acting as well. Yeah. Uh, what's what are the jobs that you get the most? Modeling or commercials or. Right now, commercials. Mm -hmm. I feel like modeling, I've taken a little bit more of a backseat. Not mm -hmm. that I'm not doing it anymore, but just I think my focus is more on acting and trying to get into film and TV. But yeah, commercials is definitely more prevalent, um, I think, for a number of reasons, I guess. Um, but yeah, definitely more commercials. And uh, with dance, like when when you like when you were dancing, when you started, and like and now, if you do, like, is it just f for yourself, or or like, do you actually can, can you actually make money with dancing as well? Oh, so 2018, 2000. Well, I guess it was before. So yeah, 2017, around that time, I auditioned for a dance crew. We were just super passionate. There was 21 of us. I think it was 21. Everybody just loved dancing, but they had like quote unquote normal jobs. Mm -hmm. So it's just something we did in our spare time. And then we we went to World of Dance competition. We represented, we won that in London and represented the UK for the finals, which was in LA. Nice. Yeah, which was like so cool. And just something that we were just like, what? Like, what is happening? Like, you know, I guess the like the underdog story of like, who are they <laughs> you know and then yeah and then things just started more things started coming up we did a show at um Sadler's Wells we did something the National Theatre um we were doing what else were we were doing festivals and like just random stuff and then I think since then I would get the odd job as 
probably more of a mover rather than a dancer that is touring with an artist, but like, oh, we're looking for a dancer who takes movement direction well for this music video or commercial, mm. or, you know? So that's the kind of work I was getting. So it's more, mostly for kind of for screen, like... Uh, yeah. It's not like, well, we need a dancer in the club or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you could do that. I never did that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and I guess the... When I was dancing with the crew, if we had, say, like, we've danced at this music festival, whatever money we earned just went back to the whole team, whether that was, mm -hmm. like, for costumes and, and training and stuff like yeah. that. Um, but as an individual dancer, the stuff that I was getting, yeah, was more, like, movement-based mm. for TV, film, or, yeah, commercials, music yeah. videos, etc. Um, yeah, and now I feel like I just dance for fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's good when you can. Because, exactly. You know, because We're getting I, older. <laughs> well, My I, for myself, I can barely walk. I can't dance. <laughs> so it's not Every, an option for me. No, everybody can dance. No, you yeah. know what? Here, here's a funny story. Like, so mm -hmm. I, when I just started like doing acting classes and stuff, at some point I was like, I probably need to learn how to dance. And I, I honestly, I, I don't know how to dance. And I went to, <laughs> no, I mean, no, you don't want to see that. I will be departed from a country and people will say like, get out of our country. So basically <laughs> I went to the, I think Pineapple Studio. Oh yeah, yeah. And they have the acting for beginners. Right. I was like, okay, cool, yeah. good, I'm going there. And that's my experience. Like you're coming there, there's like big group. Mm. And he, like a teacher, I don't remember if it was a guy or, or, or a girl, but like they're like they show some moves, you know, like yeah. they're kind of like, and they're like, you're like, I'm like, okay, like one, two, three. I'm like, okay, I remember that. And he's yeah. like, nah, good. Now feet. I'm like, what do you mean feet? Yeah. <laughs> I can barely remember this and now feet. Exactly. Can, seriously? <laughs> and then I just, I realized that I can't, it's just like, it, it was way too much for me. I, mm. I tried probably, I went there like probably like five, six times and like I realized like I can't. I need can. dancing for beginners <laughs> when you're like, okay, now we just do this little step and we do it a thousand yeah. times and then we do another step. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't find classes like that. So I still can't <laughs> dance and I can barely walk. <laughs> I can recommend some to you if you want. Because I, I think that's the thing. It's just like foundations mm -hmm. and drilling. Mm -hmm. And then you add on to that. It's like building blocks. Anyways, let's stop talking about me. It's not why we're here. <laughs> so um, you were doing modeling. Yeah. And you were dancing. Yeah. And then who beat you and said, like, you know, go do acting. You need more rejection in your life. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so true, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, who the heck do I think I am? Like, what am I doing? Um, <laughs> so my old agent put me forward for casting mm -hmm. and it was for film. And I was like, I don't, I've never done mm. this, but like, for some reason, I guess back then I had no shame and I was just like, but yeah, I'll go for it. Like mm. this, this is exciting. Of course. It was an in-person casting and I had so much fun. I just really enjoyed it and it was challenging and just, yeah, just, I don't know. I just felt like, ah, I think this is what I want to do. Were you Especially, already doing commercials by then? No. Mm. See, this is so interesting. So no experience in camera at all, like in acting -wise. So I had done, like, I think I at that point I had done a music video. Mm. Um, and then otherwise it was more like beauty campaigns and, yeah, and e-commerce for modeling. But at that point I hadn't, yeah, I hadn't done a commercial. And there was a period of time where I was like, I haven't done a commercial. And, like, why am I not getting commercials? And, you know. Um, so yeah, no experience. And looking back, my audition was probably horrible. <laughs> but I just had fun and it was so like, it was challenging, it was good. Yeah. And I just, I don't know, I remember... Did you need to, to learn a lot of, of text for the first audition? No, it wasn't that much, no. Um, it was like one scene. I think it was something, it was like doing a scene from Kill Bill, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I remember calling my agent afterwards and being like... 
I don't know how that went, but I loved it. Yeah. And just, yeah. And, and I think from that moment, I was like, okay, I think that's the route I should be taking. And well, where, where did you go when you decided that you wanted to do acting? Um, so I then, I just like had a little browse on Google as you do. Um, I went to a place, I think it was in Fourth Monkey, in Finsbury Park. Mm. They had like, um, I found a course, a very beginner's like foundations course. Mm. Um, did that, and then I met Kaya mm -hmm. on a job, and then obviously we got friendly and we're chatting, and then she recommended um, Working Actors working Studio. Actors studio. Again, <laughs> yeah. Working Actors Studio is mentioned probably almost yeah. on every post, because Lee should probably do some reference, <laughs> reference program. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I was like, oh, okay, and then I went to, no, then I... What did I do? I did something else. I can't even remember. Mm -hmm. Met somebody else. They also suggested working at the studio. So I was like, okay, I need to check mm -hmm. this out. And then that's when I yeah. came. Yeah, which so. was what, like two years ago? Oh my gosh. Was it? I think so. I think, yeah. Because I came, like I observed a class one year. I think it was like maybe not long after Sophie joined, whenever she joined. Honestly, time, I get so confused. Mm -hmm. But let's just say two years ago. <laughs> yeah. A year and a half, maybe. two years. I, I mean, like, time. definitely at least a year. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, because for I, sure. I remember we were doing quite quite a few scenes last year. We were, we were doing, I remember I was yeah. with you together yeah. uh, a few times, at least a couple of times. I think we did the Goodwill Hunting. No. Yeah. Oh, we did, yeah, and yeah. Um, Euphoria, and yeah. another one where yeah, like yeah. someone's locked in the basement or something. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like you, I think it was for that you. one. Yeah, is it was you? Well, basically, it was you, so yeah. some of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, let's say it's definitely over a year, mm -hmm. maybe under two years. Yeah, around there somewhere. And how how is it going? Are you still enjoying this? Yes. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I say like ah no, I do I do enjoy it, but. As you know, yeah. it's just such a tough industry. Mm -hmm. It's like I used to say, you know, I'm I'm really resilient, and which is a great thing. And all of us, you have to be resilient mm -hmm. in this industry. But then it's just like, at what point? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like how much rejection can you actually take? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Parents to, need a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, how do you? Yeah, it's like whether you need to take a time out, fill up your cup again, and then come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's just knowing, yeah. How, how do you deal with rejection? How do I deal with rejection? Do you have some, some coping mechanisms? I think my natural, like psychologically when I go into things, I don't know if this is good or bad. It's probably bad to be fair, is that I try and stay quite like level-headed. Mm -hmm. But I guess the downside is that if something exciting is going to happen, I tend not to like get too excited. I don't, I'm not like really in that because I know that anything could happen. You can book a, your dream job and then it gets canceled <laughs> or like they cut you out or like there's just so many things. I know, I know. Happened a couple of times. <laughs> exactly. And you're just like, oh, so I think my natural my natural um, state is just to be like, okay, this is great news and like, and then just keep it going. I don't really celebrate. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's a protection thing mm -hmm. so that when I am rejected, it's more of like, okay, cool. On to the next. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's healthy. <laughs> but no, that's, I mean, like if it works for you, yeah. then it is. Like uh, it's, the thing is like, I'm not sure. I've heard that it's good to have highs and lows. Yeah, because like, and if it's everything is too kind of flat, then it's like you don't get any pleasure. But I'm pretty sure like you still do enjoy when you get some good news. Oh right? yeah, of course. Yeah, and when you and like when you do a job as well. Yeah, and like exactly like I certain jobs that I'm like I'm having so much fun on set, and it's like uh, savoring those moments because you know that that job is going to end, mm -hmm. and then it's like okay, what's next? When's my next job coming in? But I think it's just like. Like I had an audition not too long ago for a commercial. I really liked the idea, the concept. I initially went into it as you do of like, okay, I'm just doing a self tape, send it off, forget about it. Then you get the recall and you're like, okay, I'll go in, do the recall. And you're like, oh, that was fun. And I, 
I got along with the director and this and that. And you're like, okay, forget about it. Then you get the second recall and you're like, oh, so this is real now. Like, oh, I'm getting excited, Mm -hmm. you know? And then you walk away and then it's like, oh, sorry. That, to be fair, that time I was upset. But I think I just have to talk it through. Mm -hmm. I have to like, like, I have to reason, you know, okay, well, it could be that I didn't fit with the other person that they cast and, or this and that, and then I'm, okay, cool, and then on to the next. Yeah, no, I mean, like, the, the, it's one thing to understand with your brain. Because logically, <laughs> yeah. I don't I've heard so many times, so many casting directors and actors said as well, like, I remember I was watching interview with this, like, just monumental actor. I don't really, I don't remember he, his name. He's yeah. like, it's an old guy. I think he, he played uh, in uh, A Star is Born. Oh, okay. He, uh, yeah. like the older guy who was like, I think he was kind of manager or brother of Bradley Cooper. Also, I'm really bad at names. It so. doesn't matter. But basically, <laughs> like I was, I was watching an interview with him, like, and he yeah. was saying, like, and he's like, he's a guy with so much experience. He yeah. said, like, at some point there was a moment when he was already like played so many roles. He was like, mm. I didn't get anything at yeah. all. Yeah. And I was like, I think I need to quit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Why no one can cast me? Yeah. And then he spoke to a casting director about it, like he, his friend. And she said, like, you know what? We're doing casting right now. Mm. Come and sit on our side of the table and you will ah. see what's happening. And he said, like, I went there for one day and then I just, I realized that it's not about me at all. When I don't get castings, like yeah. when I don't get cast, mm. it's not about me. Well, I mean, like you can possibly do a shitty job, of course. No, of but course, at the same yeah. time, he said, like, I've seen so many guys walking in the room yeah. and they were amazing, great actors. Mm. But in the first three seconds, you knew that will not they will not be cast because yeah. they're like too short, too, too yeah. long, too, <laughs> hot, too tall, like too ginger or whatever. Yeah. So it's it's sometimes it's really not about you and you like you need to remember that. But again, sure. like when you do understand <laughs> what you had, it doesn't yeah. mean that it, it, it gets easier. I remember I had this uh, like some time ago. Uh, I think it was during the pandemic. Mm. Uh, I was kind of, I was doing casting for Tetris. Movie. Oh, okay, yeah. And I think I went through three stages and that like on the third one That's you kind you of like it. you kind oh, of like okay yeah. you know what maybe maybe there <laughs> exactly. is something and then yeah, yeah. uh so yeah uh, i my my idea of trying not to basically i do the self-tape mostly mm. because i don't remember when i was last time when i was in the room in person yeah, yeah. i i do the self-tape i send it and I forget, forget about, about it, it. Yeah. exactly that's the best way I think yeah I agree <laughs> just forget it <laughs> all right so and you started doing working actor studio yes. and you got signed <clears throat> with working actors agency yes. right yes yeah which was great which is great yeah, yeah. um yeah and it's been good so far mm-hmm. just like, obviously figuring out my casting brackets mm-hmm. and you know where I'd best fit but also like what I want to do Mm-hmm. and yeah and Amanda's been great and yeah I've booked yeah. a couple of commercials and yeah. I've also had some auditions that have been like really exciting mm-hmm. um, like self-tapes mm-hmm. for feature films and short films and yeah so so far so good what would you see yourself playing what were, would be like your you know dream projects dream roles it's a that's an interesting one um I feel like I'm just more probably in tune with drama or like a psychological thriller mm-hmm. um yeah i feel like i would be somebody who i don't know if i was to i'm the person that maybe i'm soft caring mm-hmm. but i can hold my own and like mm-hmm. like you know have a, a good fight yeah. so if it's one of those where it's like a psychological thriller where someone's trying to impose on my family life or like I don't know something like that or like the world is ending <laughs> you know <laughs> I'd be the one like <laughs> what about theater theater I think for me my like initial response is like a no mm. um 
the only theater I've done is like via dance,、mm-hmm. and even then,、mm-hmm. I'm stressed. I am so so stressed. I'm so stressed. Even when we did、um, like the dance group I was in, we were in Pericles at the National, and I got caught in the draping,、mm-hmm. and I just was like, oh my god, and had to just. <laughs> Yank it off! <laughs> I like ruined their whole design,、mm. um, and it it just stresses me out because、mm. you don't you don't have a cut reset.、Mm. <laughs> Let's go yes, again. So, it's like、yeah. you just have to. I guess that's in some ways exciting, and there's like a thrill to it.、Mm. But the other part, I'm like, it's so stressful. <laughs> no, I mean it's kind of when you're prepared. And you do have time to prepare. Like you kind of like it is stressful to a degree, but also like you have a direct response from the audience、That's、right、true. now, which is, is very、true. nice. Like when when you know when you're doing a good job, you're at least like yeah. yeah. When you fuck up, you're like oh、yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, well, move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, you, but- you didn't do the working at the studio.、Um, Showcase. No, no. no. Wow.、Well. And that I know, I know. I feel like never say never, you know.、Um, and especially like, oh no, I don't know. Never say never. But it, right now, it's just not on my radar. Yeah. But never say never. No, I mean, look, it's it's、uh, it's it takes a lot of time, and I've heard. Like,、yeah. first of all, you need to find. Uh, to to be cast, which is like a problem <laughs>、yeah. of itself, and then you know if it's fringe theatre, it's like a lot of time and、mm. no money at all. Yeah, and to get cast in something bigger, like no one will cast you if you didn't have any experience, and you know,、exactly. like a fringe stage. Exactly. Exactly.、So、yeah, but it, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it could be fun. Never say never. <laughs> if working actor studio does another one, who knows?、Mm. You know. Yeah, I mean,、maybe. like it's it's you're not risking anything, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, exactly. I think, because I think you're good, so I think you would you、Thank、would do you. well. <laughs> Cast me. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>、uh, all right, all right. So, and、uh, when did you join working actor studio? Yeah, so that was the the the, the agency. Oh.、Um, April of last year.、Mm. And yeah, how was、April. it going? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, good.、Um, I did. Yeah, I've booked a couple of commercials, which is、mm-hmm. great. And yeah, and then I've just had a few auditions, like self tapes for feature film, short yeah, films. Yeah, yeah.、Um, yeah, it's good. And I feel like with one of the reasons why I wanted to join Working Actor Studio is just because they. I just wanted a. They know how I I work, obviously, in terms of like going to classes and、yeah. and understanding me as an actor. Yeah, and, and I feel like it's a collaboration,、mm-hmm. and that's important to me. And having good communication, and yeah, and so hence why I joined, and it's been good. All right. No, I think I think like、uh, I think it's it's a very kind of nice、uh, combination when you're doing classes, work, and just to do,、yeah. and then you go to the because Amanda knows you, Lee it, knows、exactly. you. It's just like yeah, they really know your casting type. They、exactly. know kind of. It's、uh, I think it's 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 a good combination. Yeah.、Um, but let's talk about commercials. <laughs> oh, commercials, commercials! Because you you have quite, you have quite a few credits in、uh. in commercials for like some big brands.、Um, mm. And it's like a completely separate topic, right?、Yeah. Like it's kind of acting, but it's not acting, but it、yeah. still is. And commercial additions, <laughs> that's a separate beast. <laughs> so,、uh, uh, how is it going with commercials for you? Okay, so there was a time, right, where I. Was like I want to book a commercial.、Mm. I've never booked a commercial, and like, ah, I want to book, and I wasn't getting anything.、Mm-hmm. I would go to these auditions. Nope, 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 nope. And then all of a sudden, I booked one. I think it was twenty, twenty twenty two. No, twenty twenty. I don't know. Around that time, I had a year where I was just like booking all these commercials, and I'm like, what is going on? I mean, obviously, there's a reality to that. Um, disclaimer: I don't want to just do commercial. Okay. Of yeah.、Uh, but、um, like anyone would say, you know, like there's, I've learned a lot、mm-hmm. on set doing commercials.、Um, some are really fun. Like they're all different、mm-hmm. in their own way. But yeah, I think I'm very much like 
I have more to offer. <laughs> I mean, I think it's, it's absolutely every, every yeah. actor. It's just like, I want money. Yeah, exactly. So give me commercials, but, <laughs> but let's, I, let's yeah. just book a movie or series, yeah. regular. <laughs> exactly, exactly that. Because, yeah, that's the reality. They are good for money as well, mm. which is such a bonus, yeah. you know. But, yeah. Uh, do you have any, <laughs> any funny stories about some ridiculous castings? Do I? Oh, my gosh. Honestly, um, I just, some of the footage that casting directors must have of me, mm -hmm. of people in general, you know, like ridiculous. Like one of my first ones I remember, I had to uh, imagine that I was the tentacle, a tentacle of an octopus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And yeah. and You're, just, you're a tentacle of so I had to, that was literally it. Just like be... Were you standing like down or... Were no, like, I was standing. Okay. Uh -huh. um, so that was interesting. <laughs> what and was then, it for? I think it was for some kind of like, I don't know if it was a mobile phone or something. And it was, yeah. Sure, it makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, I had one... Oh God, I just... I had one recently where it's like... Okay, imagine you um, turned into a grape. Mm -hmm. Imagine you turned into a strawberry. And then imagine that, say you are a strawberry, that you're getting squished. So I had to do all these different facial expressions. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Did you get it? No! And do you know what's crazy is that, like, well, it's not crazy, but <laughs> as I'm doing it, like, the casting directors are, like, watching on their screen, like, Cause you're just like, of yeah, of course you would be laughing, you know. <laughs> it's just a job. Like, yeah. just well, what, what were you doing today? Uh, all day people were pretending they're strawberries and they're being squashed. <laughs> yeah, the positive in that is just like letting go mm -hmm. and not. You just can't give yeah. a crap about what you look like or like how you feel. Mm -hmm. You just okay, yeah. Let me just go for it. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the the positive of those auditions. <laughs> Yeah. Or like what I find interesting sometimes um, is you get a, like a, oh, can you do a self tape for this commercial? And then it, they kind of want the whole thing, you know, like it's like, OK, so, you know, Susie's going to be doing this walking down. Then she jumps over this table and then does this thing and da 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 da. And it's just like, Okay, let me try and set that up. In so, my like, living you, and room. they expect you to do it like at home by yourself. Within means, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like a full-on production, but sometimes it feels like, okay, well, I would leap over a table, mm -hmm. so I need to set that up and then cut that, edit that, and then you know. Mm -hmm. And then by the end, <laughs> like, oh well, that's good. We don't need to film anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know some people like they sometimes hire i mean especially for dancers but um you know hiring a studio and using the space mm -hmm. can be helpful i haven't done that but yeah, yeah. i mean like spending money on yeah. trying to get a job <laughs> exactly <laughs> like we're already struggling as yeah. much as it is yeah. you know cost of living crisis and just general you know trying to crisis. survive this yeah <laughs> mental crisis <laughs> exactly <laughs> So yeah, um, but I guess if you have the money, it's mm. always an option. But so those were like the the, the, the most ridiculous commercial castings. I, I had one. I had a, a weird one. It was fine, but it was for a I think like a creative like short film, and my audition was basically just kissing people, mm -hmm. and that was it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just run the people? <laughs> yes. Just up the street, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. <laughs> um, there was an intimacy coordinator mm -hmm. involved. But yeah, it was literally just... How, how does it work with, with intimacy coordinator? Because I never, like, was involved in any kind of uh, intimate scenes apart from, like, on my showcase in identity. Like, there was just some kissing. Right. Uh, but there was no coordinator. coordinator. We coordinated right. ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> right okay so it was my first time and my only time uh with an intimacy coordinator she was lovely and um i guess it was just you know you go through the protocol of like um 
you have to ask for permission and like you start from like okay you know can I touch your knee okay and then like maybe a tap to Mm -hmm. then like a bit of pressure and then a grab um and just yeah getting consent from the other person and then in terms of like when it got to the actual kissing we had to do an exercise where it was like you had to be forehead to forehead and like a seesaw and just do that like and then you had to do it side to side so basically like it's just well we would just kiss it <laughs> well, was it helpful it was helpful it definitely was helpful for sure but just i've never done a casting like that before where it was literally just making out with mm-hmm. somebody and then okay we're gonna swap you what was it for it was a short film oh okay. but it was like a very creative yeah creative thing. short film yeah um it was about a couple who was like their last moments like mm-hmm. in a relationship mm-hmm. they were ending the relationship and for whatever reason he, i don't know was it just like random multiple people <laughs> or just so, one person you uh, had to kiss i kissed two different people uh. they had um some like i think one guy kissed maybe like four different people like they were trying to pair see who fit well with Yeah, one of uh, those where like, oh, I didn't get the job, but yeah. probably because either the chemistry or the height. <laughs> or he's like, yeah, or, better kiss her. Or that, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, just different. Like, yeah. I guess you just never know what you're going to get uh, in an audition. Interesting, yeah. Or self-tape. Yeah, no, no, or... I never, never had to go through anything like that. That's no. True. No, uh, no, we actually did like with, uh, we were doing... Uh, we were shooting kind of self-made uh, pilot for Lee's series that he wrote. Oh, yeah. It was called Party Rotten. Nice. Uh, and there was a kissing scene, but like it was very technical. Now you know, no yeah. tongues, nothing, you know, yeah. just basically. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of it, it, it can it can, it can be awkward. <laughs> I can imagine, <laughs> like I can imagine, it's awkward. Like it's just like I can't imagine doing a proper, you know, like bad intimacy scene. Like it's kind of mm. like it should be awkward for everyone, everyone involved. Yeah, and especially like with the um, <laughs> with this audition, um, we just had to make out for the duration of this music. And then it wasn't anything, it wasn't supposed to be like um, leading into anything. That's mm-hmm. not what the scene was. Mm-hmm. It was more of like, a, oh, this is sad because it's our last moment. Mm-hmm. Like, so, and then just like, okay, great. Um, and it's okay if we go one more time and, mm-hmm. you know, and then, okay, repeat. And then, you, you know, you like, there's a camera coming towards you. Yeah, <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just. Yeah, it's uh, like you know, it's not like oh, this is amazing. No, 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 yeah. no, not at all, Just, not at all. No, yeah. I, I remember, <laughs> like I actually, I did theater, like I, I did theater. There was kind of like a scene when, like, I was just wearing uh, boxers, right? Boxers, just like underwear, and the girl, she actually was topless, right? But again, like you, like there is nothing. You like the only exactly. thing you're thinking about, like there is like hundreds of people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or like hundreds of people like it's, watching you and exactly. you thinking about your next, you know, next line. And it's kind of there is it's it's not like for some because I, I'm pretty sure yeah. like there's some people who think like, oh wow, this is so so fun. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's exactly not, it's not about it at all. It's not. But you know <laughs> what? It takes like we're very um what's what what's the word I'm trying to look for? Not everybody can do what we do. That, that's <laughs> not a question that I have for for you. Uh, um <laughs> I actually I forgot like I didn't ask this question for quite a while since my first few episodes. Right. Like, do you think actors are kind of a little bit narcissists? Uh, yes and no. Like, I think it depends on the individual because I don't know your reasons for wanting to act might be different to mine and for you know whatever. And I feel like for me, the main the main thing is to tell a story and to you want your audience to feel something and that's the same with dance for me it's like if I'm I can put some moves together and someone can watch it but then if they don't feel Mm -hmm. anything it's kind of like what did I do so that's like my main thing but then there's also the part where you like 
Okay, let me watch that back and see what I did. Oh, oh, that was good. Oh, I like that. And then, oh, that was shit. I need to improve on that. But I mean, like, the, the thing is, like, we... There are different ways of telling a story. You can write a story. Yeah. But, like, we want to be seen. I think there is something, like, I mean... I, I definitely do know that I want some validation to a degree. Like, oh, not in yeah. a way that I want to be loved. Like, I wouldn't mind to be loved, but, like, it's mm. not like, a, like I want to do a good job. And I, yeah. I want to know that it was appreciated. Yes. Yes. But then... I don't know, like, if you... That's a good question, because do you ever walk away from a class and be like, that just felt so good? Yeah. And, like, maybe nobody else is going to see it. No, and yeah, 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 yeah. And course. then, yeah. So then, but then is it that, like, does the validation come from yourself or does it have to come from the teacher or like the, your peers you know because another thing social media i have a lot of supportive friends like mm. so many so if i post anything on my instagram i know that no matter what it is <laughs> oh my god Tweeka, this is amazing you're great and i'm like oh they're so lovely <laughs> this is so nice yeah you know um whether or not to somebody else they might think it's rubbish mm. But I guess it is nice to feel like no matter what, like your peers maybe appreciate the work that you're putting in and that you're even sharing because sometimes that's daunting. Um, yeah, I mean, like, first of all, I also kind of enjoy the process itself. Like, I right. do like to be in the scene. Yeah, 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 of course. I do like to course. be in the scene. And the thing is, like, sometimes I notice that how to say it i mean yeah. like i want to be sure that i did a good job and it, yeah. it's not always uh the same it not always matches with what people say to me because sometimes people say to me like it was really really good mm. and i'm watching it and like i like no What's yeah it? like where does that come from and like what are you you know, obviously, like, we're our harshest critiques. Mm -hmm. um, so then it's like, at what point do you just accept things for... No, I mean, like, I think... Like, I think I started to do it more. I think, like, at first, when I <laughs> just started watching myself on tape... Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, I wanted to kind of punch the screen like kick the screen <laughs> throw it out the window like this is my face that's that's what oh my, my face gosh. does when i talk <laughs> those like this is i'm so much cooler in my mind mm, yeah. and then uh, like i kind of got used to this then so it took some time to basically just seeing myself yeah uh, and then i don't know i kind of i think i started like i became more like I started to accept myself more as a performer as well. But there nice. may be another reason, like I actually maybe got better. <laughs> uh -huh, <laughs> Which yeah, I mean, like yeah. I was doing it for a while. Now, yeah. I was doing it for a while. Like I just thought about it recently. It was actually like, what, eight, eight or seven years. Mm. So it's kind of, it's, it is some time. It's mm. not 20 years, mm -hmm. but it's quite some time. So I was like, and I was doing lease classes, only, only lease classes I was doing for six years. Okay. So right. kind of like I <clears throat> do progress. Yeah, yeah I know course, that. Yeah. So I kind of maybe now when I'm doing uh, anything in class, I maybe not really. I might not be kind of happy, happy about myself. Mm. But most of the time when I do a scene, I'm like, it's at least all right. Yeah. Kind of all, right. all right. It's yeah, not it's like not bad. Yeah, it's, it's never not, bad. Sometimes it's just like there is nothing like no spark. But like, That's but nice. it's not bad. It's still kind of it's, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. Yeah. You're an actor. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you're doing. To a degree. Yeah. Uh, so I think I, I, I started to kind of accepting myself as an actor. Nice. But still, sometimes there were like, there, there are some kind of, uh, there were moments when I was doing Waving and Strangers, Lee's uh, yeah. pilot. He was very happy with me. And people were very happy with me. When I watched it, I was like, oh, me, I'm... Is that I would do better now. <laughs> right. I was going to say, is it just because you think you can do better? Like, as in, you have the capability to... I think I could do better. Mm. And also, I think... I... We never know what people see in us. 
Yeah. Well, you do the scene, and I'm watching this scene,、yeah. and I can see something completely different, different. from what you meant, but it works yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah. And when you see it, like,、yeah. well, that's very, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. I also think I could really deep it,、um, and say that because I, my friend has asked me this before, in the sense of like. I don't dislike myself, you know. So I can look at something, and if I feel like I see myself in that image or whatever the footage, I'm like, okay, cool. Like I'm probably really content with that. Whereas if I see something and I don't recognize myself, that makes me really uncomfortable.、Mm. Um, but then I have an issue with shining. So I know you're like,、mm, what is that? The、what? movie <laughs> or the book? But, <laughs> not the not the movie.、Uh, love The Shining.、Um, no, just <laughs> with.、Um, I think I, in my head, or I've told myself that I'm better in a group setting. So like in my dance crew,、mm-hmm. you know, it's like I feel like everyone there,、um, like what everyone's good at is like really brought out.、Um, So my strengths are really shown in that group setting.、Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, in my head I'm like, oh yeah, I, I I probably work well in a group setting. I'm not the like the leading like the star, and I feel like I've always kind of been that way. Like I I don't stand out. I tend to blend in. No 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 no. This is this is how I feel about myself. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so, and I feel like. When I approach projects, I'm not trying to be the like, oh, I'm like the best actor. I'm the this like I just very much see as like a okay, I'm a, a moving part in this thing.、Mm-hmm. But I do think if I go even further, there's probably a reality to like my upbringing, and maybe it's like. All my life, I feel like I've taken more of a backseat. I'm not the person that's shining, you know. Like my family, if they're all music and dance and they're doing their thing, and I'm just like, I'm going to be academic, and I'm, you know, and, or like I let other people speak and I observe,、mm-hmm. and I, and then maybe there's a bit, a little bit in me that's like, oh, maybe one day somebody will say. Mm. You know, so maybe that's the little narcissistic bit of、yeah. like unconscious, subconsciously、mm. wanting someone to be like, "Sorry, you in the back, <laughs>、mm-hmm. come to the front because yeah, you're yeah, incredible." Yeah. yeah so yeah. maybe that's part of for me. But is is it more like you're not kind of sure about <clears throat> yourself? Um, I probably just lack confidence. Yeah. In that aspect, yeah, yeah, yeah for because sure. Because I, I could definitely see you like as a lead in something. I, f- I feel like, yeah, like me too to an extent,、mm-hmm. but I don't think you need confirmation. Yeah, like I maybe I I would be cast as a lead,、mm-hmm. which would, in my head like that would be great. But then it's like, but will I do enough? To make people feel something, and that's the thing. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I think yes. <laughs> no, look, <laughs> there was great.、Uh, I don't remember <laughs> the names. Th- th- that's the problem with my head. Like I do have some information in my head,、mm. but I don't remember the actual facts and names. <laughs> very often. I'm the same name. I just I just remember that they like what it means. So there was、uh, an experiment. I think it was、mm. done by some Russian director. Right. A long time ago, so he、uh, took a shot of a man with neutral face, right? Looking at something, yeah. And then after that, there was a shot of like playing ch- children playing or something or whatever,、that. right? And and then he did the same thing, like with the same first shot with this, with this guy, and then showed something said I don't remember what exactly, and then he showed it to people.、Mm. Who didn't know like the actually the, the、yeah. experiment, and the people who was who were watching 
a guy looking at the playing kids, they were saying like, oh, he's so happy. Like he is like, he thinks about like whatever. And then when <laughs> there was like some other shot with something sad, they're like, oh, he's so sad. So basically what I'm trying to say, like if you're doing a decent job as an actor and the script <laughs> is good, people, yeah. people will see whatever they want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a valid point. <laughs> and but, I think, like, I think I did scenes with you in class, so yeah. I do know that you are a capable actor. <laughs> so I yeah, think... but I think the difference is like, I don't know, like some people just have something. Spark, yeah. There's I know, just something, and I you're know. like, oh my gosh, like you're mm. just so drawn in. Mm. And I think maybe underneath everything, it's like, I wish I had that. Like, I mm. want some, like, again, the validation of like, oh. I, yeah, like, but I mean, look, it's, it's, uh, that's I, just think, me. I think you can be that good. I'm, I'm sure that you can be that good. But like you, you, well, none of us can expect to, you know, suddenly become leads. No, of uh, course. Yeah. When we just, <laughs> <laughs> when we just started <laughs> yeah to a degree so, yeah of course obviously, yeah uh, but like when, when you're watching yeah. yourself like your your tapes from the class like how do you feel about all that um sometimes i feel like oh okay that's that was decent mm -hmm. like i'm proud of that other times i'm like oh that was an off day or whatever mm -hmm. like that i just no 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 and then other times there's like those moments of like ah oh, like you know you see yourself you're watching yourself back and you're like oh this is great like i'm i look like i'm really present and it's all like natural it feels real and then there's a moment of like oh no i slipped out of mm -hmm. yeah so it's obviously different uh, for... <laughs> do you notice progress since like when you started definitely 100 yeah. percent like, like did, 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 did you try watching your like very first oh tapes? my gosh it's awful like, it? isn't it you're just like i can't get through it i'm like what is this like there was one for my like the first class that i did and i'm like doing the most for no reason, no reason and lee actually pulled me up on something mm. from i think my first class with him and it was like I roll my eyes a lot and like the sighing thing and mm -hmm. like, like, mm -hmm. you know, and I just thought, yeah, but I think that's me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then I look back on these, t I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. like, no. And Lee's really good at stripping all that crap away, you know? Yeah, yeah it's true. Lee, yeah. Lee, like, Lee is very good at kind of, especially uh, I, I spoke to Boo about it mm. as well. Like he was always good at it, but I mm. think he concentrates even more on it right now yeah. at like you being you, mm -hmm. you being real you, stripping yeah. away all the like the stupid habit acting voice, all the kind of like this, like, you know, like as he told me, like, stop doing this. <laughs> all this, yes. all this shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you don't, you're like, do I do that? Or mm. like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and mm -hmm. then you're watching like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I, it just doesn't need to be there, and it's not. Yeah, yeah. it's just and a it's, habit. But it's like nice, that. no? Like when you like to yeah. kind of, it's it's horrific sometimes to oh watch gosh. those first tapes. It's oh, horrific, horrendous. but then like it's so nice to kind of know, like you know what, I progressed quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, exactly, that time. exactly. <laughs> and it's also funny that like some of the tapes or the footage that I have that I. At the time, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, that, mm -hmm. that's, that's all right, you know, yeah. I'm proud of that. <laughs> and then you look back and you're like, oh, there was a moment where I was proud of that? Mm -hmm. Like, what the heck? The funny thing is, like, it's it's fine when it's from <laughs> class. I yeah. have a few self-tapes like that right. from five years ago, four <laughs> years ago. I was like, yeah, that's that's gold. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's going to Let get me cast it, now. Yeah. I was watching like, oh my god! And so casting director is so so it. that exactly. Oh no! I know, I know. <laughs> but you know, I guess every yeah, everyone has to start from somewhere, right? And mm -hmm. as long as we're progressing, <laughs> no, that's that's the thing. Of course, like we, yeah. we need to understand, like everyone is like yeah starts somewhere, somewhere, and we all kind of like we. No matter which level you are, you keep going, going, mm -hmm. going, like you still keep growing. Uh, how do you prefer, prepare for, for a scene, for a role? Do you have oh. like your own process? 
of learning lines, preparing, like, I don't know, objectives and all this stuff. Yeah, I think I'm still figuring it out um, in the sense of, like, the last short film I did, I really, um, I used music a lot to help me get in the headspace or, like, the gravity of the scene. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and I also, it was great because the director was like, okay, for that specific scene, like I know it's a heavy scene and like whatever you need. So it was great that I had the space and the time um, rather than it just like, okay, we got like a few takes on this and then we got to move on. Um, and I, I was like, okay, cool. Like for this, I, I need music. I need, I just need some time to myself. I need... Was it already the, on the day or while you were, were still preparing as well? Um, so I had thought about it in my prep. Mm -hmm. And as I was doing my prep, I did use music to navigate that. But then I also used on set, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. But I didn't, I feel like I had to do it in my prep to realize like, oh, music is so good for me. Mm -hmm. um, whereas I like... I, I know how important music is to me, but sometimes my brain works in this in weird ways where it's like, oh, but maybe I'm not going to be allowed to play music on set. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, oh, it's not an option. <laughs> but in that space on that set, it was an option. Yeah. So great. Um, Do you always use but, music for, for when you prepare for the scenes? No. Yeah. Um, but I wonder if I should because... Even if it's like, or even like going to a class as an example, um, if I'm feeling a bit like, I don't know, all over the place or like just not having a good day, maybe it's a case that I just need to listen to a song that will boost me up and put me in the zone. Yeah. You know? Um, oh, that's, I, I, there is like a question how, how you choose the song. For the yeah. scene, and maybe you are mistaken. <laughs> so yeah, that is true, and I think maybe, maybe something with class is a bit more difficult. Um, but I also, um, so sometimes, like I spoke to Lee about this. You know, when you go with your as if, mm -hmm. um, sometimes maybe I haven't found the right as if, or like it's just not getting me to a place where I need to be that um you know you can use your imagination mm -hmm. and I feel like me if I pick the right song I can visualize a whole thing of like whatever it is like this character doing this and then oh and it just helps me so much more mm -hmm. if I have the right song I can just visualize it so I I've, think I've, that helps me I've heard about like I've heard some people actually use music for uh yeah in their prep. I did it once, uh, again, for Waving a Stranger, there was a scene like that we did like as a reshoot. It was like very short scene when I kind of like, you know, mm. uh, go kind of go in my room, sit on, on a kind of on, on, on a bed and start crying. Mm. And that's that's what it was the one when I used music, like uh, because it was without sound as well. So we right. actually turned on the music like on during during the shoot, like yes. worked very well, which is not <laughs> always an option. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think I think it could be interesting, like a good good thing to do. But again, mm -hmm. like you need to realize because you need to analyze scene very very well. It'd be in line with director. <laughs> but, exactly, because then if you say you're going to class or whatever, and you you prep this whole thing and then they're like oh no that's too much like we actually need this or like mm. oh interesting direction but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's yeah. actually a comedy <laughs> like oh oh <laughs> <laughs> exactly um <laughs> but otherwise yeah i just i i with my prep i feel like especially like with class i guess because in my head i'm like i go to more classes than i have do auditions at the moment but um yeah, obviously, the objective, the as if, the tactic intentions. Um, and then I try not to prep too much. In, as in, like, sorry, um, as in practice with somebody too much because then I'm just like, oh, my gosh, I feel like it's going to get stale. Mm -hmm. I also try and 
think of like my casting brackets as well and like if there's one that maybe I can lean, lean into a mm-hmm. bit more for a certain scene that kind of thing um but yeah I'm also just trying to be really present that's my main thing at the moment it's like yeah because it's like there's just so many times where you do your prep and whatever and then I'm like what what my brain's like just <laughs> doing all off, kinds yeah. of things yeah. I'm like no just stop mm. yeah so, I, think, I think it's one of the hardest things like it's yeah. one of the easiest and the hardest things like to be a good actor like be in the moment be present and then you're already kind of good to mm-hmm. be fair if you're in the moment but then it's yeah. so easy to switch so off so it, like to think about something else to think about different like different next line or then exactly. suddenly like do i look do i look fat i need to kind of you know like anything yeah <laughs> yeah no of course mm. and i think i remember i don't know why this came to mind but just i was doing a short film and I was so in it that I I said something that wasn't um this like the lines I swear mm-hmm. whatever but as I said it it like oh my gosh like my subconscious is like <laughs> coming through and now I'm conscious <laughs> of like yeah because like oh I didn't mean to say that but it came out because obviously I'm just so in the moment And then I was annoyed because I'm like, oh, I came out of it. <laughs> mm, oh, shit. Yeah, what exactly. what did I do now? Okay, yeah. now concentrate on another person again. Yes, exactly. Again. <laughs> the cut. Oh, shit. <laughs> what woman was the short film? Um, it's called uh, Marie Was Working Late. It's just about um, a workaholic. Mm-hmm. And she has a uh, near-death experience. And... A second opportunity at life. Is it out yet? No. No. So we're waiting. We're waiting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we are waiting. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. How uh, how you family reacted to your pursuit of you know changing from uh, academic yeah. <laughs> to creative? Did they like? Oh, not you as well. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um. No. <laughs> my. I feel like my mom. She. She just like, oh, whatever makes you happy. That that's her vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, I think my dad, I don't know. I feel like he's, he says things like, you know, like, oh, but make sure you have another job lined up before you quit. And I'm going to, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Um, but then he literally did the same thing when he was in his 20s, early 20s. So just interesting that I'm like, okay, so you're giving me that advice, but You also did had a similar route where you quit your job. Like he was discovered at a disco and at the time was doing martial arts. And then someone was like, oh, you can dance. Let's do dance group. And then, okay, I'll quit my job and do that. Like, and then went on tour. And it's just like, yeah. So I don't know. My dad's maybe a bit more like, I don't know. <laughs> I think th- more I'm, like, I'm like in there. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, no, they're, they're, My mom is just, yeah, she's like, yeah, go for it. Like, whatever mm. you want to do, I'm happy. Like, I support mm. you no matter what. Mm. I think my dad probably, he's probably one of the ones that is more like, when I see results, then great mm-hmm. kind of thing, you mm. know? What drives you? I mean, because, you know, we, we, we discuss constant rejection <laughs> on every episode of this podcast, probably. Like, what, what drives you to move forward and, like, keep going? Oh. <sighs> I know I don't want to have a Monday to Friday nine to five job. Um, I've done it. And now that I'm not doing it, I'm just like, I don't know. I like, I just couldn't go back. Um, and then otherwise it's just like, cr- like just creating, I think. And then, uh, The other, the deeper stuff, I'm still figuring that out, you know, about the like, are we a little bit narcissist and mm-hmm. like wanting the validation mm-hmm. and because I, I think there is an element of the like, pick me and the like, mm-hmm. I want to be seen, <laughs> Yeah. you know, even just thinking about fam- my family and like why they're all in arts for the most part. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't, honestly, I, I ask myself the same question. Like, 
sometimes like, why, why am I, why am I doing this? Or like, what do I want my life to look like? I think that's more of the question. Mm. As in like, you know, do I want to struggle financially for the rest of my life? And then, you know. <laughs> sure, it's such a fun thing to do. <laughs> exactly. And then you, obviously it's like, well, no. Okay, so how do I make this work? And I just think maybe we're just, I don't know what drives us to like figure out. Like, okay, we just got to figure it out. Because mm-hmm. what's the other option? To give up your, what you're trying to achieve. And right now, that's like not an option. Mm-hmm. But then why is that not an option? No, it's not an option. Mm -hmm. Good. (laughs) Good. And is there anyone who inspires you? I find these questions really difficult because I'm just like, who's like one person that inspires me? And I just just don't think there is one person. Mm -hmm. Like, and also initially when I think of that question, I'm like, oh, is there like an actor that really makes me, you know, or like a dancer that really makes me? And yes, there are. But... There are so many talented people in our circle, you know, our peers. And I just, I really do think like the people that I'm surrounded by that are also going through the same struggles that are also like fighting, you know, to survive Mm -hmm. (laughs) or just like want to share something and and have something to say. Like, er Like all those people, my friends, peers, they inspire me because... It's just, yeah, I I feel like we obviously have a common denominator. Mm-hmm. I just think there's just so many talented people yeah. um, in and our you, circle. And you that really realize that, notice that when you start doing creative things, like basically yeah. when you go to the acting class or dance class or like any kind of class with a group of people who create, yeah. you start to meet so many amazing people. Like, And all of them do so much shit. Exactly. <laughs> It's literally that. Even like things like for commercial turning up and like the set design, I was like, oh, I could mm-hmm. not get over it. I was like, oh my gosh, you guys built this whole thing. And it was incredible. And I'm just so blown away. And everybody has something to bring. And and like things that I just, I don't know, I wouldn't even know where to start, you know? Yeah. And, and even in class, you're like, you watch somebody, you're like, oh my God, they did it that way. That's so cool. Like I never... I never envisioned the scene to go that way, but that was beautiful. Or, and and so I just feel like, yeah, it, it sounds really cheesy, <laughs> but the people that I I'm surrounded by at the moment really inspire me. So that's right. that's my that's my answer. Uh, I think I think that's <laughs> so uh, that's the most practical thing to have as well because like yeah. it's much easier to get inspired by people around you rather than someone up yeah. there in the top, some amazing yeah. actor or actress. But still, uh, the, your your favorite actors uh, in the moment right now. So recent, I'm also late to things, by the way. Yeah, so for okay. example, I watched The Bear recently. <laughs> have you seen it? Uh, with the, the guy chef. from from the Shameless. Yes, he is German. amazing. He, uh, I always Shameless, American Shameless. Okay, he was like I was watching like back in the day. I'm not even sure. I think I think I already started doing some acting classes, mm. but it was the very beginning ish. Mm. And I was watching him. I like he is one of the best in this series. So I didn't watch Shameless, yeah. but I watched The Bear. It's good. And yes, and I'm just like. This guy, Jeremy Allen White, I'm like, he's incredible. And I'm just, now I'm like, okay, what's he doing next? Mm-hmm. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but I feel like I'm late. Well? Like, yeah, really yeah. good. Really good. Really, really it. good. Yeah. Um, definitely watch it. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I feel like I'm always late. Like, I'll message my friend, oh my God, I just watched The Bear. And like, you know, and then they're like, yeah, you're so late. <laughs> <laughs> Like Jeremy Allen White, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, let me just have my moment. Please. No, no, he like I remember yeah. him in Shameless. In Shameless, he, he was just insanely good, and he's mm-hmm. like he he was very young uh, as well. Like when he started in Shameless, like he was he was one like it right. was a very good cast in general. Right. I haven't watched uh, British Shameless, and as I said to to, to mm. Lee, where like he wasn't in it, uh, but the American one, I think it's good, and the cast there is, mm. and he. He was one of the best there for sure. Yeah, yeah. he's amazing. I think who else? Um, 
Also, so this is another thing. Sorry, I'm going keep going off on the tangent. That's good. But I also, um, I feel like there's moments for me that stand out. Like, mm -hmm. uh, so for example, oh, I'm so bad at names. What is his name? Um, Austin Butler, as an example. Oh, so <laughs> he was so good in Elvis. I haven't seen that. He See? is just like. <laughs> amazing the mm. voice is just like all the kind of mimics everything he is so good in it so have you seen dune 2 no no i really want to watch it <laughs> okay you need to watch it because when he came out i was like like oh my god like who is this per not in like oh he's sexy yeah. but just like how he embraced yeah the role and everything i was like oh my gosh yeah. like a very standout moment for mm. me um i was like kudos because no, it's good i also watched yeah. the masters of air recently what do you think about that i think it's okay i think it's, I it's, it's like it's not amazing yeah. it's not bad it's it's good but yeah. it's not like that great yeah. yeah yeah i also thought it was like very clean aesthetically as in i didn't feel like i was transported back yeah um it just felt very clean I but, I think I think first of all I was expecting a little bit more epicness in battles like you know just like true. I wanted yeah. a little bit more kind of like you know kind yeah. of nah, so yeah. good uh, and just in terms of story it's kind of feels like I don't know I think it, it could could have been shorter yeah uh, I think they tried to show a little bit too much as well with also like with the camp. It's not bad. Like I kind yeah, of, yeah, no, I of enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. it, but I think I, I expected a bit more. Yeah. A bit more. Yeah. Yeah. But good. he was he was also good in it. But he was like more kind of you know like just like this this pretty pretty boy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Dune two for sure because yeah, I I like... loved Dune one. I Same. really loved Denis Villeneuve Same. and his films. I love yeah. the, the Blade Runner. His yeah. his Blade Runner like the, the new one, and then Arrival and like there's a lot of films that he did are great. And I mm. really like the first one, and I've heard the second one is is better. I know they're both good. They're both really good. Um, but I've heard from other people like different things of like I felt the first one you know some people are like oh it's so slow and so long I've heard that no. but I I was like oh this is amazing yeah um whereas maybe the second one I felt a bit more like oh there's so much going on mm. that in my head I'm like no that could have you could have mm. split that mm. and like really you know yeah, but yeah, I understand I like I like Denis Villeneuve's long <laughs> so basically when he does something you know like the, 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 like the slow yes. story i think he does it in such a way that i really enjoy it yeah same same yeah so well uh, and I, I need to watch it i i need yeah. to watch it in cinema to be fair you do honestly yeah. and i think rebecca ferguson yeah um i agree uh what was the last thing i've say i've seen her in oh i forgot apart from all the kind of uh, all the Mission Impossibles. Mm. There was something else that I've seen her in. Ah, well, basically in Dune. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Yes. Uh, there is a series with her as well, I think. Right. It's called Silo or something like that. Like, I don't know. Oh, it's on Apple TV. I Maybe. guess. I, yeah, I haven't watched it. <laughs> okay. Yet. I haven't watched it, but I think I've seen it mm. on there. But yeah. Um, and then I would also say. I, mean, I haven't seen her in anything recently, but for some reason, oh, like I love Sandra Bullock. Like I, oh, I, oh, I get love Sandra Bullock. She's she's great. Yeah. I always like. I feel like I'm just drawn to her. Mm -hmm. um, she, I, I think she's she's very captivating. I think yeah. she's like very charming and just yes. you know like she, she draws like you 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 want to watch her like no matter what this. I think last thing, well, last thing I've seen her in was actually Bullet Train. Oh, okay, I haven't even seen that, you know. It's so it's it's an action. It's funny, yeah. driven action, like right. very kind of like fun. There, are the the Brad Pitt is in it, like in the main role. But there's yeah. also uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Okay, I don't. Remember. Uh, it's like I think he, they they want to make him a new Bond. Right. Like okay. Fine. He is amazing. Yeah. Just like it's it's kind of like. It, 
a bit dumb-ish, a little bit, but like it's a very good action with a lot of good good actors and right. funny funny scenes, good dialogues and all this stuff. Uh, and she is in there like in the very last scene of the film, but like she is on the phone all the time. And right. I was watching the film, I was like, I know, I know the that voice. voice, I know yeah. the voice. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's something <Sandra> Bullock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love her. So yeah. yeah, I would say those actors all right. at the moment. And then Sandra Bullock's always been like a favorite of mine nice. look what's next for you what's next um to be honest i feel like uh, i feel like i need to figure out some things for myself find my feet a little bit more um i think obviously like we were like oh it'd be great to have you know some even some short films in the pipeline and this and that um train more and mm -hmm. do more <laughs> mm -hmm. but at the same time i do think i need to if i'm honest i feel like my cup is very empty at the moment and i just need to fill that up and whatever that's i don't know what that looks like just yet mm -hmm. i need to figure that out so that's probably where i'm at have, have you that. thought about writing directing no and i never say never <laughs> 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 never say never. Um, someone has asked me this recently, actually. I just... Okay, it takes me so long to... I think this is a flaw of mine. To, like, action something. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can see my drum kit over there that mm -hmm. I've had for, like... I actually, yeah, actually wanted to ask. There, like, there's, a, there's a drum kit there, like a full-on drum kit. I've had it for, like, a year now. Yeah. Have I touched it? I don't know. No! <laughs> why why drum kit? Because I want to learn the drums. <laughs> but so just suddenly, you just say, like, yeah, that's, that's, that's what's going to lead me to success. <laughs> Drumming. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I, I love music, and it's just one of those things that I feel like I don't want to become a drummer. Like, I don't want to, like, I, it's not something that I'm trying to do in terms of a career path mm -hmm. or anything, but just like, a, ah, I love music, I want to learn the drums, like, music's huge in my life, and yeah, so, and I never did when I was younger, purchased the drum kit. I think I've done, like, two sessions and then that's it and i think that's my problem i just i create obstacles like in my head mm -hmm. and i need to stop doing that all right because then it just takes me a long time <laughs> so to answer your question with writing and directing <laughs> it'll probably take me like ask me again in a year's time maybe it'll be different well it's, yeah. it's a date for another <laughs> podcast <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. Uh, well, have you have you tried to to get into the voiceover? Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. I have. Um, I I didn't. It wasn't on my radar until beginning of this year. Someone asked me to do voiceover thing, and I was like, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Did that, and I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why not? So then, um, I have a session booked to do like a reel. So yeah, I need I need to do that. I mean, like yeah. I I can I I will try to do it myself with like what I can do, and then send yeah. it out to agencies. I but think that's then, great. But then maybe maybe I'll have to do professional one because I mean, like it's like I sent it to a few people, and they said like actually it's good. Like yeah. it's good, so maybe it's all right. But I feel like if you've if you've used your own equipment and you've done it, like why? Mm -hmm. I don't think you need to spend. Well, I mean, like even even the mics that I'm using, like so the mics here, like uh, that I'm using uh, for podcast. Mm. It's kind of still kind of it's good mics for podcast, but yeah. like it's budget mics still. Right, like, there right. are like some good studio mics that yeah. are kind of like make it sound even better Fair. but again i'm like i'm thinking that for me maybe in, in voice over on the market like i have more kind of opportunities to play in some like video games or something oh, like yeah, that. and definitely. I, I don't think i don't think there is a like i will have to do like a commercial reel yeah. as well but there is no point for me probably to do a proper commercial reel because i don't think anyone would want me to narrate anything <laughs> here well, for for commercial you never know you, you know you never know well, that's what accent, i think i don't know 
<laughs> never say never. You never know, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, I need to do it as well because that's one mm. of the things I want to do. And I think it, like it's a good, good kind of income as well if you yeah. get into it. And like video games, especially video games. Yeah. I would love to work in video games because I, wa- I like to play video games. Nice, <laughs> yeah. So I would want to, I would want to for sure. Oh, All yeah. right, look, we're very close to the end. Okay. Is there anything else, like, is there anything that you would want to talk about, like, that I didn't ask you? I don't know. Okay, then I'll, yeah. I'll say, it. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll take it as a no. I just yeah. know that uh, I spoke to, with Boo, yeah. last, like, last time I did last uh, podcast with uh, Boo and Mehmet. Check it out. <laughs> and... Then we were kind of like chatting after the, the we recorded. He was like, oh, I remember, like, I wanted to talk about this. And then, oh, I, I want to talk about this. So, like, I now I try to ask people just in case. The one thing I would say I've realized, I've learned. Like, you know, they say, like, oh, um, a lot of the industry is who you know, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Um, part of me was like, really? And then you learn, like, oh, yeah, it is who you know. But, but. Um, it doesn't always have to be like in a negative connotation in the sense of like I'm realizing that I've booked jobs commercials recently due to the fact that ah yeah I worked with you before so when your name came up I was like oh we have to see her and like we know you're reliable and that you take good direction and this and so even if I'm on doing a commercial that maybe I feel like isn't necessarily um, the most inspiring work that mm-hmm. I've done. That I just, I'm like, you know, just do the best that you can. Um, because you just never know who's on set and is going to be working on something else. And then it's like, oh, I remember her and, mm-hmm. you know, and do this other thing. And like, so yeah, yeah. that's probably something that i'm learning along the way of like i think this notion of acting and film industry or mm. whatever industry is like it's all about who you know i think people misunderstand the meaning of who yeah. you know because yeah. it's not about like you being complete shit at what you do no. and, then and then knowing exactly. people and they will give you jobs no for like for you to know people mm. that will give you jobs you have to grind mm-hmm. for a long time you have to work you have yeah. to prove yourself you yeah. have to do a good job mm-hmm. and then these people will know you and yeah. know you and then someone will say like well it's just luck it's not luck mm. you worked for it for a long time yeah. and then these people worked with you they know that you're good yes. and then it's like about who you know if you don't know like how to act there is very rare cases where someone of will course. give you a role and there should be some big reasons for it because people spend a lot of money on productions of something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they will not just give you like, well, you see this idiot? I kind of know him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it no, doesn't work exactly. like that. So yeah, I agree with you. I yeah. agree with you. So knowing, like, to, to be in the right place in the right time, time you yes. need to spend a lot of time to get there. Mm-hmm. So yeah. For sure. I agree. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Are you ready for a blitz round? Oh, yes. Go for it. I think I'm ready. Quick questions, quick answers. Yeah. Texting or talking? Talking. Cats or dogs? Cats. (laughs) Love cats. Your one guilty pleasure? Chocolate. What makes you laugh? Uh, My boyfriend. (laughs) My boyfriend, yeah. (laughs) What makes you angry? My boyfriend. <laughs> so these are very like simple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have any nicknames? Oh, loads. Um, T, Tam. Uh, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, what are the ones? Like, ugh, some I don't even want to repeat. But yeah, let's go with T, Tam, Tamix, Mix, Mika. Yeah, those ones are like the typical. Okay. What dish do you cook best? Oh, I do not cook. Well, there should be something, <laughs> no. maybe some special no. sandwich that you can make. No, <laughs> I'm telling you now, nothing. So you would die of hunger. <laughs> yeah, and no, because my boyfriend cooks. Yeah. So if he finds out that I can make a good dish, he'll make me cook, and I, I don't cook, so that's nothing. Okay, that's <laughs> that sounds a bit manipulative. <laughs> uh, your favorite character in any fictional story, book, screen, video game? <laughs> so have you seen God 
<laughs> this is the first thing that came to mind. Um, have you seen The Little Rascals? No. Okay. Um, Buckwheat from The Little Rascals. I'll just mm-hmm. say that. Okay. Well, is it? It's like a kid's. Oh. Yeah. It's a <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a movie, but it's just the, ca- the cast is basically kids. Okay. Yeah, All right. anyway. You watch it. Um, <laughs> Star Wars or The Lord of the Rings? I haven't seen either. So if I was to choose one, they're not over. really my, yeah, not my thing. Sorry. Um, but I would choose Lord of the Rings just, just off of. All right. Uh, any unknown or unexpected talents? Oh, no, no. Because um, I know, um, I know that uh, one of your skills. Yeah, yeah. In uh, I think on was it Spotlight or was it Mandy is kayaking. Oh yeah, I enjoy kayaking. Yeah. Yeah, I like kayaking. Is, is it yeah. one? Is it one of your? <laughs> is, is it your <laughs> unexpected talent? <laughs> uh, I guess. Um, oh no, um, I'm really good at air hockey. Oh really? Like, yeah, I like to say that I would challenge anybody the game of air hockey. Okay, maybe one day. <laughs> All right. Cool. How often do you cry? At the moment, I like, I'm pretty much crying every day. Mm. Um, yeah. Is it At the tears of, of, of joy or, or just tears of, <laughs> you know, life? <laughs> tears of life at the, <laughs> at the moment. Okay. Yeah. So right now, every day. All right. Yeah. Does it help? Um, I think so. It's just a release, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So, but sometimes I'm like, I don't want to cry, but it just comes. I'm like, ah, oh, you mm. gotta let it out. So. Okay. Yeah. How can people reach you if they want to work with you? Oh, probably best by email. So that's Tamika at gmail dot com, and um, my agent, basically, <laughs> which is. <laughs> Amanda, um, it's agent at workingactorstudio.co.uk. I probably should have said that one first. <laughs> like, Amanda, I'm not stealing clients. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my maybe someone yeah. wants, wants to but, dance with you or like, yeah, you know. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, but yeah, so either myself or Amanda, my agent. All right. And then <laughs> yesterday I asked you to yeah. prepare one cool thing. Yes. Something that you enjoy and you think other, our viewers should try to. Okay. So this is a very practical thing that I discovered like, what, two weeks ago. Um, so there is a studio <laughs> called Host Studios in Hackney. It's like mm-hmm. a, what, 10 minute walk from Bethnal Green. And um, it's not a massive studio, but I don't know, maybe the capacity is like 12, 15 people. I don't know, mm-hmm. that kind of range. Um, and it's £12 an hour, which is so cheap. It's, just, it's very cheap. Can, can you record podcasts there? Well, so the thing is, it's more of like a dance, like there's mirrors, um, obviously the sound system, there's lighting. Yeah. I guess you'd have to bring your own chairs. Yeah. yeah. You know, right. that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just went... I'm basically collaborating with somebody and then she was like, meet me here. And I'm like, what is this space? And then, yeah, I got more information. But at the moment, they're also doing like for the first month, it's like you put in this code and it's £10 an hour. Even better. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But just like, I guess, a space if you wanted to, I don't know, if you're a dancer and you wanted to have a session, you want to do some research and development or collab with somebody or like doing a self-tape. Especially if you're doing like musical theater or something, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's, or it's a really yeah exactly rehearsals. Like it's just a really good space. It's mm-hmm. a really nice studio, um, and it's just cheap. Yeah. It's affordable. So host studios. Nice. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Again, another person who asked me why me. Yeah. <laughs> Because you're interesting, Uh, you're interesting. There is a lot of things that we can talk about, Uh, and I hope, I hope that you enjoyed it. And I I did enjoy it. Yeah. Obviously. (laughs) (laughs) And I hope we'll do it again. Well, when we have more stuff to talk about. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Maybe in a year, uh, you get your lead. You'll get your confirmation that you are good. (laughs) 
<laughs> and you can shine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll and see. Uh, we will talk again. Thank you Amazing. so much. Thank you. It was Bye, fun. guys. If you enjoyed the podcast, like, subscribe, or don't. You know what? I will look back. Bye. But like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye, guys.